This front part of the brain right here is called the prefrontal cortex and it's the most sophisticated, evolved part of the human brain because it helps us make good judgments and good decisions. It helps you size up a situation and say, okay, what are my options here? And what are the consequences for each one of those options gonna be? So if you're sitting at a slot machine and you're thinking about gambling away your entire paycheck, your prefrontal cortex should kick in and say, that's not gonna work out well because you need that money to pay your rent. It's gonna help you plan ahead so you can say, let's go deposit this money back in the bank and never come back here again, all right? This piece of brain machinery in the front of your head is clutch. It's what gives us the smarts to keep our lives from falling apart. But multiple studies have shown that in gambling addicts, the prefrontal cortex is seriously suppressed and that there's way less activity there compared to other folks. So it's no wonder why gambling addicts can't stop themselves from making bad decisions at the casino. You know, you're feeding notes and I'm not even considering like each £20 note what that could buy, you know, a tank of petrol, your bills, whatever. It doesn't cross my mind. You drive home pounding the steering wheel, promising yourself you're never going to go again, you're never going to do it again. I walk out of there in, in tears, sick to the pit of my stomach, and you realise how much money you've just lost and what you could have done with it. I've relived the same scenario so many times. I kick myself, like, why? Why? I just don't understand why I can't get this. I've got an illness, and I wish there was a cure. It is heartbreaking to hear the desperation in these people's voices, but when you understand the brain science, you get why they feel so helpless. When you've got tumbleweeds rolling around in your prefrontal cortex, you don't stand a chance at making logical decisions. And that not only goes for your own well-being, but it also goes for others, too. That's because the prefrontal cortex not only helps you predict how situations will turn out for you, but also how they'll turn out for other people. It's what makes you sensitive to other people's feelings. It's what gives you empathy and a sense of morals. But all that goes out the window for gambling addicts. They can become so dependent on that rush of dopamine that they get from placing a bet that they literally lose the ability to care about other people, even when it's their own children. News tonight, we have new deeply disturbing information on the Vancouver boy who died of starvation. According to investigators, his adoptive mother went to a casino hours after he died. We learned this week from the medical examiner, the 15-year-old was just 61 pounds when he dies. She spent more than four hours gambling, according to the detective. And if gambling addicts can't care about their own kids, then they're definitely not gonna care about anybody else. I saw a poker dealer having an epileptic seizure at the table. The paramedics hadn't even arrived before players were complaining about getting another dealer or requesting a table change while the dealer was seizing on the floor next to them. Another casino worker wrote, a normal, slightly overweight guy has a heart attack. He drops. But he had this misfortune of dying on a live craps table in the middle of a good roll. People were straight stepping over the guy's legs to place bets. It takes your soul. It takes your humanity. I lost myself in all those values that I'd learned as a kid. I wasn't even a fraction of who I used to be, you know? I didn't recognize myself. It steals your soul, man. It's so f***ing f up gambling. Casinos want you to lose everything about yourself so that you only care about gambling and you keep their profits coming. They ain't about to let medical emergencies stand in the way of their income stream. The family of a man who collapsed while playing blackjack at the Wynn is suing the hotel and casino, claiming David Jagalinzer did not receive medical care for nearly 20 minutes while an employee continued to deal. Lawyers say he suffered severe brain damage from lack of medical attention. He passed away six months from a lack of blood flow to his brain. One casino worker on Reddit said that staff are trained to never stop dealing. Even if there is a life or death crisis in their midst, they are supposed to keep going as long as customers are willing to place bets. And they will be willing to place bets, even if somebody is dying in their midst. And I think there's one story that proves this the best, and it's the story that haunts me more than any other. A Reddit user named Judge Reinhold, who worked at a casino, said they used to see a couple in their 60s who would come to the casino to gamble almost every night of the week. The woman would go upstairs to play slots and her husband would go downstairs to play cards. But one night, there was a major situation. The casino worker wrote, 
a sizable group of executive level casino employees made their way to her machine and asked her to have a quick word in private. She refused to leave the machine. They attempted again to ask her to speak in private, but she very forcefully declined to leave. She demanded to know what they wanted, so one of the members let her know that her husband had a heart attack and he was being rushed to a nearby hospital. Her response, give me his wallet. And she went back to the machine. Broke my heart, even when I think about it more than a decade later. He died that night and she didn't leave until the next morning. Another casino worker wrote, people that lose themselves in the gambling world, they're genuinely nice people, but then they blow everything and just turn into monsters. Once you become addicted, it's very, very hard to stop because you've changed your brain. Addiction is a brain that has changed. And by the time the casino has reprogrammed you, it's got you right where it wants you. It's going to hunt you down, ring you out, and finish the final phase of its profitable protocol, your total elimination. You've been watching an excerpt from my video on the evil ways that casinos manipulate your mind and profit from addiction. If you want to watch the full documentary over on my main channel, then you can click the link in the description or in the end screen coming up. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.